Hi everybody, this is Eric from DocuData. I'm going to try to explain today how the printing works in EDC and how to connect the PDT to it. Uh, so for normal printing, let's say you want to print a report or an invoice or anything that's on normal paper, uh, EDC by default will use uh, your Windows default printer for that. So if you go and look in your printers, me I can tell I got the Rico set up for this so I know it's going to use that printer um, if I wanted to, to change it to a different printer all I'd have to do is right click on any printer set as default and then um, restart EDC and uh, that would now use your new default printer so that's quite easy um, now for thermal printing if you want to print thermal labels and also for the PDT configuration, this is all done through the config file that EDC uses to start. And the config file that EDC uses is set up in the shortcut of EDC most of the time, 99% of the time. So if you right click on your shortcut and you go properties of the shortcut at the bottom, you'll see that on the line here on the target line usually at the end there's a reference to the the config file the dc.cfg file that's the config file that EDC uses to start and um, like I can see here in my path the whole path for the config file it's in a it's in a folder called users inside the config folder the best way to get there is to usually you know click on the open file location button on your shortcut or some machine you might it might say find target instead so if you click on that it brings you to the bin folder of EDC by default and then the config folder is usually one up from that so sometimes you get a little up arrow here on the bar that you can click to get one up or me in my case I just click on one above the bin you know here and then I find my config folder and I was using the users folder inside of this so my config file is the one inside here so if I click here uh, there's usually this little executable file that you can start to configure the config file you could also open up straight it with notepad but uh, it's easier with this application and if you don't have that application in here you can always find it in your bin folder so you could just you know copy it here paste it in your config folder and then when you double click on that you get the config file opening up now the WAN port here is the port for the PDT uh, and the thermal printers are usually nowadays set up you know via normal Windows printer drivers uh, and so you normally have your thermal printer installed as a Windows printer on your machine either locally or you know a network share somewhere me in my case here I can see I'm using this PDF printer uh, which you would normally not use but me because it's I'm not printing real thermal labels here on my demos I'm just using a normal PDF printer so I don't you know sp uh, spend paper for nothing and so again if I go to my thermal printers, uh, my, my normal printers, sorry Windows printers, I can see my my bullzip PDF here and basically I just copied the name from this printer and I've put it in my config file to use that that's all there is to it uh, but if in your case let's say you would had a, a thermal printer that's installed on another machine somewhere like in my case here let's say I got this share on another machine called Brado Bravo DVD if I wanted to use this, well the first thing is you have to install that shared printer on your machine like I got here. Once you got the, the, the shared printer installed and you've tested it via a normal Windows test page then you know you can use that and then all you have to do is put that path to the, and that printer name in the config file again. Here I got the Bravo DVD machine name and I got the whole name here for my printer and the on word actually here is the one that tells you that's, that's the one that separates uh, the machine name from the printer name so if I wanted to use this for example I'd, you know I'd go properties of that just to get the name here so it's easier to copy 
So I'd copy the machine name here, Bravo DVD, and I could go in my config file, <coughs> and the syntax for that is backslash, backslash, you put the machine name, back, backslash again, and then the printer name. So me, I'd just put, you know, I'd copy the whole printer name up to the on word, and put that in here. And that's it. So that means now EDC would use a thermal printer located on the Bravo DVD machine and whatever that printer name is. And you click OK and EDC will start using that for your thermal labels. Now for the PDT, same thing again, if I go to my config file it's set right now to use COM1. How I know I have to use COM1 is because on your local machine if you find your computer icon, sometimes it's on the desktop called My Computer, <coughs> if you right click on this and you go Manage, uh, you'll have another icon in there called uh, the Device Manager on the left here. And then you see your COM ports of your computer. And um, if I expand that, I can see that my PDT is plugged in on COM1 at the moment. And to me, that's because it's a, a you know a serial to USB adapter. And when I installed it with the driver and all that, it gave it a COM1 attribute by default. On some computers, it will be different. It could be COM2, COM3, whatever. But me, it's COM1, so I know that this is what I have to use. So when I go back to my uh, config file, I have to set it to COM1 here. So whatever COM port it says in your device manager, this is what you have to use. And uh, that's about it. There's not much more to it. So if you have any questions about this, um, just send an email to support, as usual, and we'll get cracking. Thank you.